Hello everyone, welcome to Wednesday's topic lesson on floating. Can you think of a time where we might float? Hmm. I know. When we go swimming, we can float on our backs like the otter and we can float on our front. We have lots of fun when we go swimming, practicing, practicing our different floating. I know a, a song about an otter learning to float. Let's listen. Let's listen to the song about the otter. I have a story for you today. Thinking about floating, a duck would float on the water where a fish doesn't float. This story is about a fish, but not just any fish, it's about the rainbow fish. Let's listen to the story and I hope you enjoy it. Far out, far out into the sea lived a fish. But he was no ordinary fish, however. He was the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scale shimmered the rainbow. The other fish admired his, his colourful scales and called him the rainbow fish. Come and play with us, rainbow fish. But the rainbow fish was proud and, and swam past them. A little blue fish swam along behind him. Rainbow fish, wait for me. Please, give me one of your glittering scales. They are so beautiful and you have so many. Give you one of my scales? What are you thinking of? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. Still very excited, he told his friends about it. From then on, nobody wanted any more to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam past them. What use were, my, were rainbow fish's scales if they were no longer admired by anyone? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. But one day, he pulled out his sorrows to the, to the starfish. I'm so beautiful, why doesn't anyone like me? In a cave behind the coral reef lived a wise octopus. 
perhaps he can help you, says the starfish. Rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark here. He could hardly see anything. Then suddenly he saw two glowing. I have been expecting you, said the octopus in a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. Now listen to my advice. Give every fish one of your glittering scales. Then you may not be the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean, but at least you'll be happy again. But Rainbow Fish began to say, but octopus! But the octopus had already disappeared in a cloud of dark ink. Give away my scales! My beautiful glittering scales, thought Rainbow Fish horrified. Never, no, how could I be happy without them? Suddenly he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow Fish, please don't be angry. Please give me one of your glittering scales. Only a small one. Rainbow Fish hed hesitated. A very small scale, he thought. I will hardly miss it. Rainbow Fish carefully pulled off the very smallest of his glittering scales. Here, I'll give you this one. But now, leave me. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Bird for the little blue fish excitedly. You are kind, Rainbow Fish. Rainbow Fish felt quite strange. He watched the little blue fish for a long time as he swam away happily through the water with his glittering scale, turning this way and that way. The little blue fish darted through the water with his glittering scale. Soon, Rainbow Fish was surrounded by other fish. All of them wanted to have one glittering scale. Rainbow Fish shared out his scales and felt happier and happier as he did so. Finally, the rainbow fish only had one glittering scale left. He had given away all of the other scales, but he felt happier and happier than he had ever done before. Come on, rainbow fish, come and play with us. I'm coming, said the rainbow fish. And the rainbow fish went to play with the other fish. The story is finished. I have put this activity sheet into your student folders on SharePoint for you. Using your Play-Doh, you can try and make the fish scales to put add onto your rainbow fish. Topic is finished. Well done, everyone. In peace. Eyes. With all the colours. If you're a good son or daughter, be safe when you are in the water. Josh, the otter, learn to float, learn to float. When it is hot and swimming weather, it's fun when we can float together. If you're heavy, sled, or light as a feather, learn to float, learn to float.